hello, hello, and welcome back to another, another video. And if you have joined me for the first one, this is going to be basically an update on Mr. Sean Diddy Combs. Like I said in the first one, I wasn't expecting none of this to happen with him. I knew there was some shady stuff that was going on with all of the, you know, accusations that was going around. We had the whole um, Cassie incident, paid her off, and a couple of people been, you know, celebrities have been coming off and saying Diddy has been, you know, having like rambunctious um, parties and stuff like that, but skip it on ahead to the updates. Oh my God, man! If if there are updates, now we have this, this right here. Besides him claiming, besides them claiming, declaring innocence, we have this right here just came up hot off the press now he's another time about prince okay it's not playing okay prince harry is named in the freaking lawsuit like come on man like come on really like i don't like i don't get it i do not get it Everybody is going to be coming out. Mm -mm -mm. The Duke of Sussex has been named in a $30 million lawsuit against Diddy, which is the rapper accused of sex trafficking and sexual abuse. Combs who fa faces a litany, yeah, litany of sexual assaults allegations have also been drawn against Guests to his infamous party through VIP associations with celebrities such as athletes, political figures, artists, musicians, and international dignitaries like royal, British royal um, Prince Harry, according to the legal notice. God knows. 73 page lawsuit. Oh my God. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah. This is like something else, you know. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Prince Harry, Prince Harry. Come on, bro. Like, come on. We got that coming off the press literally hours ago. Um, He basically issues a statement about it. I don't know what the statement is about. That was three hours ago. Don't think I'm going to actually going to get it from there. But yeah, he issues a statement. It was probably the whole he claimed his innocence thing and everything like that. Because I, I don't know. Like, let's see. Let's see if we can just read this. Declares innocence after federal agents raid his home. He said he denies it. Wow. Yesterday was, oh, this is his quote. Yesterday was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Mr. Cone's residencies. Oh, that's his attorney. I thought that was him. No excuse for him to show, no excuse to, for the excessive show of force, hostility exhibited in authorities and the way the home, you know, the way his children and employees were treated. Um, Mr. Collins had never been detained, but spoke to and cooperated with authorities. But is he coming back? I don't know. Are you serious right now? At 26, 12 o'clock. Wow. Now Cuba Gooden Jr. is in the mid Yeah, everybody about to come out. <laughs> Let's talk. Oh, boy. Everything that gap was uncomfortable. What's more uncomfortable? The opportunity gap in tech. 
Yep, everything about to come out. Wow. Rodney Jones, known professionally as Little Rod, accused Gooding of sexually harassing and assaulting him. Okay, in a new version of Suit. Tyron said he began touching, groping, and fondling him at a yacht party. party. Wow. Wow, this is crazy, man. This is unfolding. You know, I don't want to sit up there and say it, but yeah, this is like unfolding on our very eyes. Like, this is crazy. It's very crazy. Like, seriously. I I, I don't have nothing against Didi. I don't have nothing against him. Or um, Gooding Jr. I, good actor. Nice musician, producer, you know, but yeah, that's, yeah, that, I mean, I, I, I can't, I don't know what to say, you know, I don't know what to say at this point. And got Usher name in there a little bit, Tomasin. He recalls living with, with Diddy at the age of 14 and resurfaced clip. He said, it was curious. Yeah. But he shouldn't have been around there at no 14, though. Like, wow, this is crazy. And that's coming from this. So we got two other names that's dropped in there. Wow. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section which how y'all feel about this. I'm if something else new comes up, I mean, trust me, I will give you I get the scoop on it and I'll let you know. Cause right now at this point, this is this is getting getting out of hand. And then he sat up there, let's see. And then he sat up there and then he flew his private jet over to I think Antigua. Let's see. Um Yeah, in the Caribbean. Okay, Miami Herald. Where's Diddy? One Caribbean island. Ah, oh, we can't. Okay, we can't look at that. Because we have to subscribe. Yeah, uh-huh. But yeah, let's see. Private Jet Link to Media. Embattled, inter embattled Entertainment. Sean Combs. Did land in Antigua and Bar and Baruba. Baruba. I mean, my bad. Like, that's crazy. No, he's not having a good a good week. That's another person's YouTube page or whatever, but God no, man. God please. Let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about this and everything. Cause this right here is like some crazy stuff, like really, really crazy. Like it's unfolding as we speak. This is I, I've never well, I have I have did like two videos on the same subject that was like the EDP situation and stuff like that. But should we go for a third? I don't know. We'll see how things go on with the whole, you know, with the whole Diddy thing. But that that's all new to me about Prince Harry. And then Cuba Gooding Jr. Yeah, that's that's wow. That's mind boggling, yo, for real. 
But other than that, I mean, let me know in the comment section what y'all feel about it and everything like that. Because right now, I'm interested to know what how everybody feel, to be honest. Because I'm kind of stagnant. Because that's one of the people that most people at one point in time had looked up to is Diddy. Because, of, you know, not only because I'm not even going to throw out the whole obvious, you know, before, you know, the the Notorious B.I.G. thing. But there's other things besides that that he actually, like, took care of. You know, there's some good things that happened, you know, that came about with Diddy. But there's a lot of harsh, bad things, like, right now that's, like, overcoming that whole situation that he did a good so i don't know it must be it got to be embarrassing it got to be embarrassing with for the children and for the family so but it is what it is you gotta take it with a grain of salt and hopefully he can bounce back from this because yeah he's already looking hella suspect in case somebody people didn't know he sold his shares um of revolt and Revolt is his media outlet, like his very own media outlet. He sold shares to somebody else, somebody else that's unknown. So you're doing this, you're on the pri you on you took your private jet, you went, you in Antigua. By the way, and some people probably are asking why he's at Antigua. Antigua is a high is a highlight of the situation because there's no extradition for US. No U.S. extradition at that island. So, yeah, I mean, he's looking suspect right now. He's hot and not in a good way. But, I mean, yeah, as this stuff unfolds, you know, let me know what you think in the comment section because right now I'm, I'm just shocked, man. This is, this is like first Kelly, R. Kelly now this. I'm just shocked. Don't know what you can believe anymore, you know? But let me know in the comment section how y'all feel and everything like that. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.